the 220 VM. What on earth is that? Let's look at our GSM Commander again. The GSM Commander inputs are typically interfaced to low voltage or dry contact signals. But in some cases, people want to be able to monitor the presence or absence of a 220 volts AC signal. And let me tell you one thing, if you put 220 volts in here, bad things will happen. So, what people typically do is you will take a small little power supply or an ugly relay and you will use that to actually uh, monitor the, power, the 220 volts power and this will typically monitor the output of that relay or that little power supply. But it's not a really elegant solution. An elegant solution is the 220V in. Because you take this thing, you plug it straight into your input on the GSM commander and you see we've got two little pins here, you connect to 20 volts in that and if there's power here, it'll activate the input on the GSM commander for you. Magic! For our demonstration today, we're going to use this demo kit of ours with the commander and we're going to use the 220V in and I've connected the, the mains input on this module to this lead with the, with the, with the, with the mains plug and on the other end you'll see there are four pins and they match up nicely with what's on the commander input. So I'm going to connect it straight onto the commander like that and now I'm, I'm just going to switch on the commander. Now at the back of, the, of this terminal there's a little LED that will come on when the um, input is actually activated. It's not that red LED you're seeing there, that's the GSM LED. There's another one that's right here that will be active. Now to do this I'm going to have to plug it into my extension lead. Now just to, to prove to you that this thing does have power, there we go, so I'm going to unplug my ugly old drill and I'm going to make sure these wires don't touch where they shouldn't touch and I switch it on and you should be able to see the input going active right there and there we go, it's going active, imagine that, so there it's off and there it's on and there it's off and there it's on, I think I've proven my point. Uh, if I really want to prove it, I could touch there, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> so, there we go. 220 volts in, activating your input. No problem.